563 days it's taken for Haugang to be able to play on the stadium they call home. The time is up. Unfortunately for them, behind closed doors, but the halls are still in attendance, locked outside the stadium, but all with vantage points on the far side as we look at the pictures of Galing International coming out for this one. Galing, for their part, well, having bounced back from that dismal display against Albrex to beat the Young Lions by three goals to nil, they'll be hoping Norali's faith in a Singapore strike force can guide them to a valuable three points that could, with a big enough win, take them, like Haugang, top of the table. It's Singapore Premier League action this Sunday. Behind closed doors, Haugang taking on Geylang International. Runners galore as they can try and swing this in from the left footer. Too close to the keeper. He nearly catches him out! And he has caught him out! Well, he's not even celebrating. Christopher Van Heusen, 10 assists last season in the Singapore Premier League, and he's got a goal. But Hao Gang, one small one, keep a clean sheet. And Kai Rudin will be having nightmares tonight. But they've not cleared it convincingly, and it's come to Barry Maguire. Now, he knows how to score from this kind of range. Barry Maguire! And he's furious with himself. He thinks he should have done better. His first touch is a good one. He takes it out as Aplin from the game, but he couldn't register the shot on target. And bearing in mind what they've seen from Kyrie already, you'd fancy they'll be shooting from range at every opportunity now. Meanwhile, up the other end, it's starting to go end to end now. Firehansel Kifley to the edge of the area. Firehansel Kifley, can he get the shot away? He goes down, wanted a penalty, nothing doing, and Clement Tio and the bench of Haugang are furious. Gaylang almost playing Haugang at their own matchup here. That's beautiful passing, orchestrated by Maguire, plays and Darren Tate with a cross! And that would have been a sensational score. Cairo Nizam was darting in, that would have been one of the goals of the season so far, already finished playing their tunes today. But they'll continue getting behind the team. Leonard Coe, the team manager of Gaylang, is in heated debate with the fourth official. In the middle of your shot there, Nasrul. Good work, Van Heusen. Oh my word! Oh my word! I have seen it all now! Chris Van Heusen has scored twice and Kai Rulin, well, his teammates are going over to console him. I mean, it's just bizarre. One calamity in the first half, an even worse calamity in the second, and Haugang now have to come from two down. The man that's just come on, Afik, to take the corner. Delivery is good, the header is in, and what a save that is! I want to see the replay there to see whether it was keeper or defender that got the touch, but it was a great save nonetheless. Haugang, will he try and do it again? Iqbal off third house. Iqbal! Oh, side netting. Good effort. And that time, Kai Rulian was rooted to the spot. And Umanthan, he's dropped deeper since those changes. Here comes Hafiz. Oh, they've got one back. And it's Shawal Amor against his former club, and now it's game back on. Well, there am I writing the obituaries of Haugang, but with 10 minutes to play, Geylang lost concentration. We've got our third goal, and we've got game back on. If they put up three, I'll give up trying to work out how they accumulate and come to the decision of how much time should be added on. Doesn't seem to be an exact science these days. That's gone in, and a chance for Zainal! who had to tip that over, he had to be on his guard. It was almost the third goalkeeping shocker in 90 minutes. And he may have hurt his hand in the process. Our referee for the day, Fahad Mohamed, blows for full time. And in an eerie silence, bearing in mind we're behind closed doors. And with the Haugang Halls watching from outside the stadium, stunned into silence by the defeat here. Haugang United 1, Galing International 2.